this uh, this was my own face test and only uh, wallahu alam this is the true story and uh, this might inspire you but we should not test allah astaghfirullah but we have to just rely on him with the uh, total faith with total belief on him like long time ago uh, when i used to uh, started my life into into the path of allah uh, i was sitting in the masjid and i was very alone <coughs> and uh, i made a two rakah salah this was my first time when from common muslim to uh, coming to building my taqwa building my belief in allah i was sitting in a masjid and uh, alhamdulillah wallahu alam i'm going to tell that this is a really 100 percent story and i tested my faith and i'm going to give you more uh, miracles when we believe in allah not any wali not anyone else except one allah I was sitting in the masjid and I was very hungry. I spent my whole day in there because I lost my work and I lost my business and everything. And I was sitting in the masjid and I don't know what to do. And uh, so I start talking to Allah in my heart. Yeah, Allah, forgive me, but uh, I want to see the miracle because it's going to make me help uh, to trust in you. And it will also help me to to make me happy that Allah is watching me and He is taking care of me and this is this was like unbelievable and I'm talking about this like almost 13 or 14 years ago when I started my life and I started getting attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I was sitting in the masjid and I'm not going to be naming that masjid and I'm going to be naming it no one but I was sitting in the masjid and I was alone and nobody was in the masjid except myself in the masjid and I was talking to Allah because I was depressed about uh, because of course the family members tell me to go find a job do something and I was the one who was in the masjid who was being uh, trying to build my taqwa and build my aqidah and build my trust in Allah so I was sitting there and I start talking to Allah in my heart and uh, I asked Allah that you are the sustainer so what if someone uh, he's not doing anything he is there and he is waiting uh, that Allah's help gonna come to feed you uh, to deliver your risk on time now while I was talking this one I was sitting in the wild I was sitting and I have totally remembered the whole video in my brain how things were happened. Alhamdulillah, I have a good memory. Alhamdulillah, by will of Allah. Uh, so when I was sitting there after some like few minutes, some stranger came into the masjid. He was making his two rakasala and before he leave, before he was leaving he hold my hand and he took me he said okay you know something there is a there's a, a opening of a restaurant and they are giving uh, a food and you're going to have a dinner with us let's go so I think he saw me like uh, like sitting there something but anyway everything is planned by Allah so he came to me, he dragged me to the restaurant and uh, I finished my dinner and, and I came back to the masjid and I had a tears in my eyes and I was like subhanallah so I had a bit of a subhanallah I had a tears in my eyes and I was like subhanallah ya Allah and this really built up my faith how do you send the visit and somebody came to me and he took me to the restaurant and he said there's a free food going on and they're going to be a uh, giving a dinner so i came back to the masjid and alhamdulillah i prayed and i had a lot of tears in my uh in my eyes and that that has a really uh built up my strong faith so basically my intention is to tell you that uh not to believe on these people who passed away who are in a mazar or in a grave just rely on allah keep asking him keep asking him do not stop we may just wait for his blessing to come on the right time so I'm going to come back to the question where the, the person said if I can marry a non-Muslim, you cannot marry a non-Muslim as long as the first thing the condition is to marry someone a uh, Muslim, yeah, he or she has to believe in one Allah and uh, he has to believe Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the last messenger of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.